Hey, this is Neil at Great Putts, and today we're looking at the brilliant MakeBlock MBOT 2. Fantastic robotics resource, which of course involves the kids in building and programming robots to carry out all sorts of real world tasks. It's perfect for computing STEM at both Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3. And what we love about the MBOT 2 is that you're working with very real world materials, with the, the metal components, um, when they're actually constructing a robot, they're using nuts, bolts, screwdrivers to put it together so they can actually get a feel for the type of things they would be doing in the real world of robotics. With those components, you're also working with the CyberPi controller. So that's essentially the brain of your robot, what you connect to via Bluetooth to send your code to, to get the robot to do what you want it to do. You're also working with two encoder motors that are of course what's helping the robot to move about and carry out the actions of the robot. And then for sensing, for input, We've got our ultrasonic sensor, which can, of course, measure distance and see things in front of it and react to those. And we've got our RGB sensor, which can detect different colours and lines. There's all sorts of different ways we can use that to explore a robot and get to do all sorts of different things. So let's take a look at what it can do. So to start controlling MBOT2, you can download the free MBLOX software. Through that, you can actually control what the robot in either icon-based drag-and-drop programming or even text-based Python programming. And MakeBlock do make tutorials and lesson plans available for you to use it in the classroom as well. What we're going to take a look at now is how we can actually use MBOT2 on an activity with this mat that we've created. This is in the theme of a racetrack, which you can get MBOT2 to navigate its way around. And if you're ever interested in how you can create these type of activities for yourself, we can help you with that as well. First of all, we're just going to take a look at how we can start to get MBOT2 to navigate its way around the track using simple control of the motors which our wheels are connected to. To do that, we've got our block-based programming. In these blocks, I'm controlling whether the robot is moving forward, making turns to the left or right, the speed it's moving at and how many seconds it's doing it for. So let's take a closer look at how we do that. So with the programming blocks, we've got all different parameters which we can edit to get the robot to do what we want to do. So with this task, it's simply getting it to change whether it's moving forward, backward, turning to the left or right. We've also got the speed, so we can change that from slow to fast in the parameters of zero to 100. And then we've got how many seconds it's doing that for. So you can see we're basically building a sequence of instructions via the blocks to get the robot to do what we want to do. When we're ready, we just hit that green flag and off the robot goes. You can see it's set the code by Bluetooth, it's going forward for three seconds, making the turn to the right, and then going forward for another two seconds, doing exactly as we've asked it to do, which is a great start. So hopefully that is all making sense. If you're happy, let's take a look at the next level. Okay, so now we're gonna look at how we can use our RGB sensor to control our MBOT2. So this is the one that can read different colors, or of course the line on the track. So we can use that to help MBOT2 navigate its way all around the track using that line. So this time we're using a more complex uh, level of code. We're using repeat blocks and if-then blocks. So depending on what uh, MBOT2 is reading by the RGB sensor, it's either going to move forwards or to the left or the right to follow its way around. So this time I set the code so it's when I press button B on the robot that it starts to probe. So let's do that now. And off MBOT2 goes, we see first of all, moving a straight line, then as soon as it sees the turns, it's sensing the change in the, uh, the, the, the line. So it corresponds, we can get that iPad out of the way, so it'll let it go all the way around. So make its way around the corners, on the straights, and this is brilliant. We absolutely love this because we can put any line in place and it's gonna make its way around, which is a brilliant way of controlling an autonomous robot. We love this. Hope you've enjoyed that introduction to the brilliant MBOT2. This is just a scratch in the surface of what you can do with the robot in the classroom. So if you've got any questions at all, would like to find out more about what you can do with MBOT2, please do get in touch with us. You can find all of our details in the bio below. Thank you.